Hello and welcome to Jin's Old Lego Shack. Okay,、um, now let's have a look at the、um, the outside, the view from the outside first.、Uh, it's about 26th of August in 2019 here in Korea.、Uh, the weather is really good. <clears throat> Still a bit、uh, hot. Cleaning ladies are working hard, and I play the music also. Let's、have a look at the temperature. It's twenty six. Hoo! Congratulations! The temperature is going down. It's great. <laughs> All right. I'm playing uh, YouTube uh, free music, no copyright, and I hope you can guys can listen to it too.、Um, uh, does someone know how to insert or embed the music? Into my video, and、uh, while my voice is still running at the same time,、um, this is yeah. Like、uh, when I、uh, review the video that I have made until now, I realize that the、uh, the music, the sound of the music, is not not loud enough.、Uh, actually, I I、uh, just play the music because I uh, um, enjoy listening to music while I'm working on the Lego pieces. But I hope you could、um, be able to listen to the music at the same time as well. All right. Um. Basically, right now you are in my invited into my、uh, small <laughs> crib <laughs> or a room, and this is pretty much it. Um. What I'm trying to do right now here is uh, this is the time to um. <clears throat> uh, this is a procedure of um. What do you call it? What do I call it? Uh, I、uh, still haven't really thought about deciding、uh, what to call this procedure. According to my SOP, it is basically I I I, I thought of something. This what I'm doing right now is、uh, I finished、uh, sorting, and I have、uh, spread them open like this. <clears throat> this is、uh, basically I'm getting ready to. Okay, what do I do now? What what am I doing now? Okay, this is the the procedure of、um, procedure of、um, I don't know. <laughs> I、uh, I used to do it before. I naturally do it like automatically. This is the next procedure. Just spread them open. It's like it reminds me of God created the earth,、uh, and he kind of liked it that way. And I、uh, spread spread them all over like this, and I like the view. Okay, let me for now. Let me just say that I have spread over. Uh, all over、uh, the Lego pieces, all over to a big, big blanket. Basically, at this moment, what I have to do、uh, in the next is oh, okay, take a couple of photos of the whole things right here、uh, to keep a record for a reference. Because sometimes I have to go back to my photo to check on certain pieces that maybe I have lost or maybe I.、Um, Uh, just to double check on、uh, the quantity or the specific piece that I'm looking for.、Um, this time, I am just making a video, which is more convenient. <laughs>、um, what I have to do from now on is、um, called、uh, restickering, restickering, and、uh, trimming. Okay, so let me just spread up on all the pieces right here. And、uh, I have finished sorting them by color,、uh, shape and color, shape and color. So basically,、um, this is、uh, a procedure of right before、um, distributing、uh, into each set. This is also、uh, kind of difficult to、uh, express. Distributing is like mostly used in logistics companies and stuff like that. So.、Uh, Um, I still haven't really thought of a good terminology at the moment, but、uh, distributing means like basically、uh, take all those pieces into where it's supposed to be、uh, in those boxes that I have、um, made a list of、uh, all the set numbers、uh, Lego has released until now. With all the, it should be about like 900 by now, and、uh, each sets are zipper bagged and nicely packed according to.、Um, By number, the set number, order chronologically, put put、uh, into those boxes. So, what I have to do now is、um, take the pieces ne、uh, necessary for a certain set that I'm targeting at and put them into the bag and put them into here. 
the previously uh, packed uh, the bags have um, have been neatly folded and uh, put them put it put them down here. I'll, I'm probably going to reuse them. So I have um, put them in uh, shape. Shape is the uh, the priority. It is more important than color. So uh, first shape. Like as you can see right here, uh, brick, brick, plates, plates, and uh, within the category of shape, then comes the alphabetic order of color. The reason why I do this is basically, let's say for example, if I, um, okay, set analysis is the word. For example, C right here is the. Uh, uh, set number six, no, 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 seven, six, double three, construction site. Um, the reason why I um, found this a certain set on the brick link is that I found uh, through my procedure of set anal analysis, I found uh, the sticker right here. That pretty much gives away the set number. Also here, that says uh, seven, six, double three. Seven six double three. Lots of pieces of stickers uh, stick um, sticking on the Lego pieces gave me these are clue gave me the clue a hint and uh, what set it used to be uh, included. So uh, um, it will be necessary for me to create another list. I would have to include this because I really really like to restore this uh, set. I uh, will add this number into the target sets. I have uh, uh, about 900 about now, it, it, then it become, uh, I will add it into the target list. I really like it. I would like to restore, make a restoration. Because pretty much um, lots of, maybe 50%, it depends on the luck, but maybe 50%, 60%, 70%, or even 90%, who knows, I don't know. But, um, Pretty much by the way I look here, um, those pieces, those uh, lots of other pieces probably uh, are uh, from there. So, the reason why I have sorted them according to the shape and color is when I'm making, when I am um, putting uh, putting all the necessary pieces into a bag with number the 7633 construction site uh, the brick link I uh, look on the I, I, I refer to the brick link website which has everything in shape first then in color so the black comes first actually it is uh, the color uh, order pretty much everything is color then comes blue so which is in alphabetic order black blue dark bluish gray then comes um, uh, green light bluish gray and uh, lime so the lime comes next to light bluish gray and then comes orange O P Q R like that so it will be um, easier for me to um, redis redistribute the sets the pieces into a set bag. Um, right here, what I'm doing now is these are minifigures. Okay, basically these are the the pieces and miscellaneous parts and more pieces. So the the order would be bricks, brick modified. Then comes plates. So it will give me a better reference later on when I I can uh, take it from here, from there. So it gives me the the idea that this is a six by something. This is eight by something because it has a higher. And then comes the tiles. All the tiles neatly placed on my blanket. Oh, actually, the, there is a slope in between also. Then comes canopy and miscell more miscellaneous parts. And these are minifigure utensils. And chrome, I got chrome, two chrome silver pieces right there. Then comes, I didn't have enough space at them <laughs> this time. So I uh, separated, uh, to put uh, more uh, the wheels and rubber tires. 
Then comes Technic pieces right there. Then I still did not have enough space to put my minifigures on. I simply just put them up here. I am still in the process of finding out uh, what all the sets that's been uh, included in the bulk pieces uh, the previous seller has sold me. So uh, the minifigure are kind of um, like broken and separated, not really completed at the moment. And uh, the, uh, the minifigures are the critical hint or clue to figure out what set it has been. Basically what I do here is, okay let me guess, I think I have, um, I found out that I have uh, this from the sticker right there. I looked it up on the uh, brick link and uh, tile 6x6 light bluish gray sticker pattern. Then I found this set, one only right here. Uh, what's the name of it? The set number is 8039 Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser, which is really, really nice. I, w <laughs> I, I would not have been... I mean, like, I normally would not go for too much of a Star Wars, because Star Wars, we call it, like, Money Wars, like, here in Korea, which means quite expensive, too expensive, actually, here in Korea. They put too much margin when they do the currency conversion into Korean won and then, then they sell it like almost like double the price of 1.5 or double the price of uh, the actual retail price in dollars. So yeah, I w wouldn't really have bought it, but now that I got all the pieces from the used, uh, used parts purchases, I would definitely uh, make add this to my list for a restoration. Vendor class Republic Attack Cruiser, yes, wonderful. So the I have some uh, still some uh, minifigures um, here, which are not really completed. So I simply look on the minifigure section of the Bricklink website with the set, and then oh, this guy, oh, oh, I can see that. Oh, there's two of them here, and then. By referring to the Bricklink website of the uh, the minifigure um, uh, com com composition <laughs> component section, I um, am going to be able to build uh, or at least um, the, as much as I could to complete uh, each uh, the minifigure that goes into uh, this set. Um, so the next thing. I mean, I'm not straightly just going to jump into uh, putting them all inside the bag right now. Uh, before, I uh, have to do the restickering. Restick restickering means uh, doing the sticker again. Um, for example, if you see right here, the sticker attached right here is really on the edge. It's not uh, properly... Properly... Uh, sticker attached could be the right word so like you, as you can see the sticker is a, a little bit on the too much on the right side so I would have to take it off and uh, put it back right in the center while I'm doing the sticker work I can also refer to the brick link website and uh, what uh, a certain piece with the sticker came from so that gives me more clue to find more sets that uh, I don't know like how many sets that could come out of it maybe um, Usually about like 5.5 kilo, maybe about uh, 15 or 16 or, or even 20 sets. This time, I don't know, it looks quite monotonous, so it could be about dozen, just dozens. The sticker applied right here is also crooked. So, like basically, pretty much of um, everything, I would have to do the restickering uh, work again. Um, the door rail. I got like a chevron, a danger sign sticker. I got like four of them. I need to look closely once again if the sticker is correctly applied. Uh, it's really difficult to get the focus working. Come on. Now let me have a little uh, bit more view on you see right here on the right hand side the uh, the Star Wars pattern, uh, the tan uh, circle with the red um, on the brim. See right here on the the one on the right hand side has a uh, sticker is 
a bit pushed all the way to the right right side so which is which means I would have to peel it off and uh, apply it once again nice little uh, minifigure pieces I love those shields the brown shields and I uh, love this one as well uh, for me to be able to complete a set I uh, already had this one before but the pin uh, the handle right here is broken so I was thinking like um, fixing by glue but it's almost impossible because this part right here I mean minifigure will have to hold it and move around it will probably uh, be broke once again once again the panel for the cycle fixes shop I already have that set pretty much completed like about 95% but it's glad it's uh, it's it's great to have those pieces once again. Ah, uh, thinking about I mean like before I had to make an order on the brick link and maybe I shouldn't have done that before, <laughs> because I, now I got them. Uh, more review on the technic pieces. That's pretty much it. Uh, those two pieces right there that looks like a finger clip with the uh, toe ball. It's really extremely rare. I mean, I don't know about you guys over there in Europe or whatever country. It might be uh, quite cheap and easy to find, but for me this is extremely has been extremely difficult. Now I got two of them. I'm so happy about it. So that's pretty much it at the moment. And surprisingly, uh I still found more fake pieces. It's really um I found it from over there. I mean, like here's another one right here on the bottom. Okay, the difference is this is a typical uh, real Lego piece right there. Right there on the green one, on the bottom looks really st st sturdy. Okay, square, rectangular, and the bottom, the base is kind of wide. And on the right hand side, the dark bluish gray one, the bottom, the bottom, um, I don't really know what to call it. The bottom is kind of narrow. This is not what it's supposed to be like. Let's say, for example, give it, give it another example of this. Um, I'm pretty much uh, been doing this like for a long time, so I kind of know. Uh, the genuine Lego piece should look something like this. This is not, and this also has on top of it has a bad finish um, uh, the mold, the finish, the, the sticking out place right there so it's really coarsely built fake Lego piece and there's only one right here I found another one before so there's two so only two is uh, kind of unreasonable mostly th these comes with uh, lots of uh, quantity of numbers I already got like uh, three green ones and this one Grill 1x2 orange it's kind of rare in the real Lego world and I was got like I cut I got kind of suspicious also and just when I touched it I kind of realized this is the the off off color the color looks a bit different <coughs> maybe too bright and uh, voila on the other side it has nothing so that's another fake one I'll uh, simply just uh, dump it somewhere else, some, some, uh, somewhere in, in there and separate them completely. Uh, those two Duplo <laughs> pieces, I really don't know what to do. They're actually original uh, Lego, it says Lego group right there. And um, Duplo is not really, it, it, it is still compatible. Like, for example, if I... Uh, take a 2x2 two two, uh, brick uh, yellow uh, from here and then maybe put it on top because this one has the, the tube right in the center and put it on top it's kind of compatible works that way um I don't really know the height maybe two pieces right there just like two pieces like there two pieces height and one fourth of wide th why? Why did they? Why? It's kind of difficult to pronounce. Uh, the size. Okay, one fourth of the size. 
So yeah, but actually, like to be more professional in creating my own Lego world, I would not really seriously include them into my Lego town. And this one actually, uh, some kind of compartment piece right there, maybe a c container, and uh, it probably uh, put in there. Like and it also says like a uh, Duplo. There like, is it Lego Group? Okay, Lego Group with the piece number. What's the piece number? Let me see the reflection. I don't really uh, know if it works. If you like, look on the brick link, and if I could uh, find the, I, I cannot really see that. Let me. Okay, the piece number three one zero two six. It says. Maybe I'll, uh, if I get curious enough, maybe I'll uh, just ty type in those numbers and figure out if the, if it comes up. Then it will also give me the... Wow, the focusing is really ho difficult. Okay, well, I'll just give up. Uh, what else can I show you is right here. Seriously, look on those... Um, uh, this is uh, drum... I don't know, I, I forgot, I forgot the word. This is usually used in uh, the pirate uh, as the uh, the boat on the uh, bottom piece for the boat, but mostly for the jug or the the alcohol. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Battle, yes, battle, 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 battle. It is, and the interesting thing right here is, can you guess it? What's uh, something strange with this with those pieces? Let me just put it on on the white blanket so it could be more easier for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say here. Amazingly, those three pieces. Uh, these are actually three pieces. Okay, it's kind of too dark here. Maybe maybe up there. So can you guess what's the something strange? I mean, usually a Lego company has produced um. Two sets of different colors. Like first they produced in uh, brown color, then they produced in uh, reddish brown color. Or same with the uh, dark gray ones. This is a dark gray one produced in older days. Dark gray one, then came uh, dark bluish gray color. Or even light gray color, then came the light bluish color. But this one, the battles, the three battles have three different colors. Seriously, can you tell the difference? Uh, I mean, the first one I'm sure is brown then the next came I thought this was reddish brown but surprisingly come on seriously focus come on focus can you ah, why is it so difficult okay but surprisingly when I saw the third one Oh, this is my favorite <laughs> music. Uh, they they play this a lot on the YouTube. I really know want to know how to put insert the music inside the uh, the video. Okay, when the third one when I found this third one, this one is actually reddish brown. Then what color is the one in the center? Bitter. Seriously, the one on the top is really brown, kind of old, really old and brown. Maybe because of the sunlight and uh, the color disc may be discolored, but this is really a rare case of color variation that I see. Um, um, okay, le I think, um, let me just, uh, from my eyes, not through the lens, from my eyes I think it is um, brown. Just a little bit color variation, uh, probably because of uh, the light. Um, yeah, not from the uh, the manufacturing process. Probably from the light or being old and used and stuff like that. Okay, that's uh, pretty much what I can show you right now. I'll uh, start working on the uh, minifigure, and then uh, we'll do the restickering. And I also have to do the trimming. For example, if I see right here. Okay, it's basically like an inspection that you have to go through all the way with all those pieces. Right here, you see right here on the, on the center, um, uh, the brick piece has been kind of damaged and uh, it uh, prevents uh, from those pieces to stick together all the way 100%. Even on top here, this one as well. 
this uh, sometimes this happens because people mix up with fake Lego, fake uh, compatible uh, block pieces, because those uh, usually those uh, fake pieces are really really more harder and stronger than uh, the genuine Lego pieces. When they mix it up together, try to squeeze in and try to build something, usually uh, the Lego pieces uh, get uh, damaged from it. And this a bit on top right here is has been. Crumpled, I would say, yes, Th which is not good. Maybe uh, leaves a scratch mark on my finger as well, uh, which is not healthy. And so, like, I I would have to do some kind of nipping, nip work or trimming work with the cutter. Cutter. So yeah, right here, this is a good example. So that I have decided to call it trimming process is what I have to do next. So this right here is preventing the genuine Lego pieces to be sticking with each other completely. Uh, gives a little bit of a spasm or uh, the space in between or cr crick or something like that which is not good. So I have to completely clean them up or cut them off or carve them out to make it uh, better. Okay, okay, uh, let me go back to um, uh, minifigure work and sorting out, or maybe if I get lucky, maybe I might be able to find more sets uh, those Burke pieces could create. Um, okay, that's pretty much it for now. I'll uh, see you at the next video. Thank you.